YouTube, what's up, man? It is gameplay time, and it's Thursday. Weekend League is starting tonight, so if you want to watch me play that live, twitch.tv slash stuff, that, all that link is below. Don't really need to talk anything else because everybody that's watching this video obviously has already followed all of my social medias. You guys aren't missing out on that, con on that content, but this weekend, Saturday, the Needed Gaming Mutt Invitational is going to have 16 of your favorite Madden streamers battling out for the top Mutt player in the world. Now, we don't have a lot of Mutt tournaments. It's either Salary Cap or Regs or DC, but I want to see who's the best Mutt player, and that's what we're going to do on Saturday. So stay up to date on that, get ready for that, and enjoy this gameplay. This was Mutt gameplay, and the first thing we do when we're playing Mutt is we go up top. Randy Moss, for me, the best receiver ever. And you guys know the best receiver in the game just because he can do that. Uh, rarely ever works, but when it does, man, it's great to have that type of throw result in a huge play for your offense. Um, if you guys would let, would, if you guys would like me to break down the best ways to use Moss without hiding him, um, please hit this like button. I'll break down a whole video on the best play to use Moss, the best way to get him in your lineup and get those big plays out of Moss. Did not result in a touchdown for me. Had to kick three. A little disappointed in that. But uh, anytime you get three on your first drive, you got to take it, man. You got to put the pressure on them. Make them show you what they have on offense before you start chasing too many points. Uh, that's a good piece of advice from here, man. Don't chase until they show you. You got to let somebody know that they're high powered on offense before you go ahead and start chasing points. And right here, we're going to get them to pass, lead that corner route up, knock it away, three and out, pump my football. That's what we like to see. Now, glad I took my three because now we can go to get a touchdown and go up 10 points. That'd be the goal, obviously, this drive. A little bit of blast. Took a hit stick right there from Taylor Mays. I, I didn't like that. If you guys watch me, Michael Vick's not going to take too many of these. Roll out. I should have just hit A here. Got greedy. Tried to scramble. But he clicked in the right stick, sent that zone, and came and got me. No yards for me there. And I get sacked on third down. Okay. Once again, I'll punt. I, he did not show me much on offense, so if you can't score, I'm not going to risk anything on my when I have the football. See, there he is. Good punt right there. Randall Cunningham is my punter. It's cool to have Randall Cunningham as your punter. Um, maybe that's why my team is a 99, but now he goes to the near flex. Close. One of my biggest complaints with the game, when you send a spy, it sends people in coverage. Frustrating, but that's what happened there. Had everything bottled up, and next play, he runs the, the, the fullback dive. If you run the fullback dive out of there and close, jeez, you don't go outside. That's what I've learned. If you choose to run, actually run the fullback dive, I mean, I can see passing out of it. It's a good passing set, good pass protection, but to actually run that fullback dive, oh, you don't go outside. Uh, next drive, so now we're down 7-3. to three. Next drive, we're going to work a little run. we got to work the man Walter sweetness into the game plan a little bit. Right here, actually got to get away from Miles Garrett. Learn my lesson. Cannot run away from anybody. Just get rid of the ball. Live to fight another third down. There it is. Drag route. Drag routes suck, but I picked up three yards. Give me a third and seven. Another inside zone we're going to go in. Of course, it wouldn't be a dub dot w video without a fumble for me. Just dropping the ball. And you know that wasn't Michael Vick. No, that wasn't, uh, you know, Randy Moss. That was Walter Payton on conservative. You guys know I play on conservative, so I can't have that fumble. That, that's disappointing. But it's okay. 7-3. to three, We're going to fight. We're going to get a sack right here on third down. Uh, and, of course, you know, just fourth down, we sent absolutely everybody at him. The, the whole team, you're not running away from Anthony. Bye. Off the edge. So we get the ball back after the fumble. Try to take off of Michael Vick. Miles Garrett wraps me up. I said these guys in the front seven are beasts. As you see, Miles Garrett just dominate right there. Going to try to use a little bit of clock. Closing on the end of the first half here. Michael Vick going to take off for this first down. If you don't spy, bye bye. That's pretty much how I've played Madden for the last shoot for my whole life. Honestly, if you don't spy, bye bye. Have patience with the crossing route, boys. I told you guys in the dagger video, they'll always bring their lurk back to the middle. No one is going to cover that crossing route all the way to the sideline. If you throw a pick, God bless. You know, but we run the blast, uh, go up seven, three points. But in all seriousness, if you throw a pick, wait to the last second. They're going to leave that crossing round. If you throw a pick when it's all the way by the sideline, chances are they're not going to get their feet in to hold the pick. So you get bailed out that way. But now we're up three, and he throws the ball right to Patrick Peterson. Send everybody at this near close. When my defense is not working, my little middle linebacker contain is not working, send everybody out of near close against near close. I actually put Patrick Peterson in a cloud flat there, anticipating that corner route. Because you guys know it doesn't matter if you have universal. It doesn't matter what you have. You are not going to cover the tight end on that, on that corner route. It's just not happening. More pressure all over the quarterback here. 
Lamar Jackson. I'm actually going to try to blitz the corner, but he goes with the perfect play call. I have no contain on the right side. Hits me with the deep post, Randy Moss, and somehow stayed in right there. If it's me or you, there's no way we stay in right there, but he stayed in bounds and turned it to a touchdown, back to a sweat, back only up three points, but we have a minute left to do some damage here in the first half. And you got to take advantage of that. Right here, we're going to hit this out route. Boom, Calvin Johnson. I do have the new upgraded T.O. So when I'm in trade wide flex, sometimes I use T.O., Julio, Calvin, and Moss. Uh, I don't think there's you could put four better receivers in the history of the NFL on the field. Uh, you guys tell me. I mean, I, you still got to put Jerry Rice up there. But if I was making a team today, I don't know if I'd put, take Jerry Rice over any of those four receivers. Julio, Calvin, Moss, T.O. Closing in. Need to get a field goal here. Try to go up top to uh, Evan Ingram. I'll be honest with you guys, chat. I'm not the word only person. That was the wrong button. I'm sorry. Had to be honest. Ran right there to secure my field goal. Go up 20 to 14. Um, I, I, as I was editing that clip, I was like, do I say I just chucked it to Evan Ingram and gave him a chance? No, I'm going to be honest. I hit the wrong button. It happens, you know. And it's tough when you run a, a combination of about two pass plays all game to hit the wrong button. But I did. I hit the wrong button. And there it goes. Boom, a little bit of pressure here. Just get out of that near close. Like you just it's to the point where I'm sending eight and nine at that. But that's halftime. I'm up six points, kicking the ball off again. This time he finally throws in the flat. The one reason why you can send six and seven and nine in this game, throwing in the flat is just not effective as we get another sack right there. Patrick Willis, P Willie, P Willie, P Willie. Uh, pretty much should beat everybody's middle linebacker. Third down. I, he goes the bunch. I go to one four six. Use a rush. But he breaks contain, gets the first down there. Sends out five. My boy swat the ball down. Get that out of here. We don't have time for that. Again, he's going to break contain, but I click on clown. He get the fumble. Mike Evans is there to scoop it up. Almost take it to the crib, but he gets wrapped up. So, 20-14. to 14, Feeling good. Let's get some points. End this game. We will end this game, I promise, because that's what we do. We, we clutch up, and as much as a, a money drive... Uh, is Michael Vick the pocket of a god? Get up out of there. Chase Young cannot catch me. An eagle running away from Chase Young. That's going to happen for the next 15 years. There it is. Boom. Another little run with Walter Payne. But like I said, uh, sometimes money drives you. Uh, you guys always think money drives are at the end of the fourth quarter. As we hit the streak. Boom. But he gets a little too physical. Relax. Sometimes a money drive can be in the third quarter when you're up by six. And a touchdown will give you a two possession lead. That could be classified as a money drive. That's just as important as a drive where you can take the lead at the end of the game. Because now, look, I go up I go up by 12 points going for the two. I shouldn't have went for the two. And we'll go back to why I shouldn't have gone for the two. I tell you guys all the time, you guys watch my, don't go for two unless you have to. I didn't have to right there. Should have kicked my extra point and went up 13. But I'm only up 12 now. It's okay. I'm Listen, it's better to be up 12 than down 12. Hitting the post over the middle. Uh, really starting to pepper in the middle there. I've been user rushing him a little bit too much. I got to relax. As he hits the flat right there, you see a flat in the deep blue. Held that to five yards. Honestly, uh, would it was a pretty good tackle animation too. That, I mean, that could have been one yard or two yards. Uh, if Pat P tackles him a little better. Goes to the flat. Ramsey almost grabs it, but just outside of his reach. He's closing in on a touchdown here. He rolls out. I grab him with Clowney. Come here, sweetie. Second and 20. Here we go. We're going to send everybody, but we lose contain again, and he hits the streak for the touchdown. Sheesh. Just like that, we're only up five points, but we're going to put it together. We're going to go back down and get another touchdown and really end this game because that's why they watch. And, and like I said, th this is a money drive pretty much. And what would a Madden game Madden YouTube video would W not be without a Michael Vick fumble. That's pretty much how it goes for me. I told you guys about Blast. It's great. It's fun. But you will put the ball on the ground. That's what we do right there. But now we got to stop him. Boom. We got to stop him. Keep him out of the end zone. Now, this is where I wish I had my little seven. If I had my little seven back, things would be looking really good. We get another sack right there. Third and long, he's just going to run, secure his field goal. He's actually going to kick here. And now this is why I wish I still had 27 instead of 26 because he kicks here because he knows if he stops me again and gets the ball back, uh, a field goal wins the game. So I'm a little – I wish I would have had 27. I'll tell you that instead of – because uh, I don't want to lose the game on a field goal. A tie would suck, but it wouldn't be losing the game. little blast right there. We're going to take it to the two-minute warning. That's what, that's what that's about. But he uses his timeouts – Prior to the two-minute warning, uh, extend the game as much as possible. Hit the drag. When you see the drag open, got to take it. Got to take the yards. Get into his timeouts early. That's what it's about. He's going to send everybody here. That's why I put my tight end on a flat route. 
We're going to hit the tight end on a flat route, swerve up. The worst part about this is we get out of bounds. That's where I've stopped the clock for him, but we get a second and two. That's what we like. Little inside zone. Comes off the edge, tackles me. We get to a third down. He brings the crib at me, changes lurk, but we're going to hit. Mama, there go that man, Randy Moss. Inside field goal range, two-minute warning. He has no timeouts left. Uh, this is pretty much we're going to be as careful as possible. 30-second play clock, and we take a sack right there. We didn't have anything open. We take a sack. Boom. Second 19. Once you get sacked on first down, we're going to actually wind this clock so far down that I'm going to use my timeouts to actually get pinpoint clock runoff. Like, I don't want to snap it two. I don't want to snap it three. I actually waited till one and then actually let it go a click. So one and a half, like a half second, I called my timeouts. I want to do it again here because uh, Trey White Flex needs motion snapping, needs a lot of things. I don't want to even risk leaving him extra time on the clock. Use my timeouts and we actually take another sack. Now for this, I actually take a delay a game before I kick this field goal because I don't, I don't need the, the extra yards for the field goal. I take a delay game, leave him with 14 seconds on the clock. And I get my field goal. So now he needs a touchdown with 14 seconds. First play, my boys want to get home. Miles, Garrett, eat, big fella. Clock running. He actually spikes the ball, which is smart rather than know how to get one play out here. And you get, I mean, it's probably a run. He's going to go all deep. I mean, th quarters three deep. People are so off quarters three deep. I still love it. Boom. And Clowney gets to him, sacks him. GG's in the chat, man. I hope you guys like this gameplay video. Weekend league is this weekend mutt tournament on Saturday. Make sure you guys stay tuned.